Hi everyone, welcome back. We continue on this list and today we are gonna learn about create track bar. This is very useful and important function we can use in our projects and uh, it will be very helpful to, uh, to know this function and you will understand how useful this function is when you are using this. Okay. And uh, there are some parameters this function taking, but simply these are, this function is just creating a trackbar on your window. So by the trackbar, you can control your values, your parameters in background, in backend. Okay. And we can directly pass to the code part and understand more easily in there. Uh, let's switch to the code part. And here uh, we have already an example, which is creating an im show and showing us the image. First of all, we can uh, calling directly our function create track bar. Okay, this one. First of all, as uh, usual, uh, uh, we we need to give first of all the name of track bar in string type. The uh, let's start with um, value. Maybe we can try. And after that, we need to give the input window, which is our named window name. Input as input, we can enter. And after that, the value which is we want to change in integer type. For example, we can create a value and uh, the parameter is start with 35, let's say. And uh, we need to give that number, but in address type we, because we want to change it. And after that, what is the maximum value of this value is going to be? Let's say 100. It can from 0 to 100. We can make, we can make an interval. Then after that, uh, track bar callback, but let's pass to the, this one later. And this is simply we can create a track bar and uh, let's run the function. And you are going to see we have already a track bar from 0 to 100. And the value is the uh, name of our track bar. Okay. And after this, uh, let's try to understand more about how it's uh, working. For that, maybe we can create a while loop. So maybe we can update. We can see the uh, difference, how it's working and create a while. And inside this, we have already learned how to put text to a im show to the to do for a window. Then we can call put text function. And after that, we are going to give input and uh, text text is gonna be our value parameter so we can see the difference how it's changing and after that um point let's put it to do 100 to 100 point and uh two and um font scale to also color let's make color yellow and after that put thickness to and done uh, simply this one is gonna put a um, put an number on the image but we wanna change this number why on create track bar okay um anything else i think nothing just see but uh, this image on always is gonna put the text on the same image so maybe we can make a temporary image so we don't see any conclusions occlusions on the image. So we can create second image. And here we are gonna copy this new image to old image. And we are gonna change it so we can see the difference now. Okay, uh, we have already initialized with 35. Now I'm gonna change it, which is 64. And after pressing a wait key, I mean any key I'm pressing from my keyboard, then it's gonna update to the new number. Why is it still giving? Maybe we need to clone it. It's gonna be better because it's not copying correctly. Okay, let's try again. Yeah, now working. Now, wherever I put my create track bar, the value is already changing. Don't misunderstand. I mean, when I put it to 27, the value is already 27. Just we don't see on the screen because I'm not yet updated the im show, not the value. Value is already updated. 
and to understand this more clearly we have a on change function let's create a function and this function name this should be void and let's call it callback function and we need to give an integer and also we need to give a void to our function and our function is created by this and every time my value changed I can call this function a okay and um, after that the last parameter which we didn't initialize which we didn't put now we can give that parameter which is call back function okay now every time the value is changed it's gonna go to this function let's try to run our code okay yeah now you see that from my console let's clean it now it's 54 now it's 82 and also changing until going 82 you see and like that so every time the value has changed it's going to callback function and every time I'm pressing key also it's updating on the screen this create bar uh, function is very useful for our projects because we can make our implementations and we can see the results easily uh, for example you want to change the brightness you can use that and couple of parameters you want to change you can also see the differences by using this create track bar function and in many cases this is a very helpful function very helpful GUI tool which OpenCV provides for us okay see you in the next videos